channel. I'm Chloe and I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Sunday. And today I went shopping again. I've got another huge B&M haul. Basically I wanted to go for some Christmas presents and I know I needed a few supplies again myself from when I went last time that I didn't pick up. So here we go. So I've got two massive bags full. And now this is some things for me, some things for presents, so some things I won't be able to show you in case anyone is watching these videos. But I'm just gonna pull out whatever's on top. So the first thing that I've got, I've got hair. So the first thing that I picked up are these Sparkle and Shine household scrub gloves. And these are 3 dollars and I actually saw these when I went to B&M last time and I just thought they seemed like a really good idea. But because they were $3.99, which I know it isn't a lot, but I felt like it was for these, I decided not to pick them up. And then we went to my sister-in-law's house and she had some and I was like, oh, let me know how they are. And she used them and she sent me a video. She was like, I know you'll appreciate a video showing me how good they were. So I picked some up for myself. And there is also another pack in there because I picked them up for someone else for Christmas too. So there's an aqua pair and then there's also a pink pair as well. I'll probably keep the pink pair. Next up, this actually isn't from B&M. I also called in Pound Stretch and I got myself four of these little tidy away boxes and these were 69p each so this is just what they look like and basically I got these to reorganize my new makeup setup which is just currently behind you so I'm gonna put everything in these little trays and put them into the makeup station as best as possible and that probably will be coming in a vlog as well it'll probably be in vlogmas this next week coming so make sure you subscribe so that you can see me reorganize my makeup collection if that's what you're into and then in the top of there, I just have two little milk chocolate things. So this is the Milky Bar Christmas bear thing. And this is one with a cape on, this is one on a tutu on. I know very stereotypical, but I got this for my niece and nephew. We always like to put them a little bit of chocolate in the stocking. And I like to get them white chocolate rather than dark chocolate. And I believe these were a pound each. I'm just going to end up with like a pile and a mountain of B&M stuff around me. So next up washing machine cleaner this is the two-pack washing machine cleaner again by sparkle and shine the same as the gloves and this has i think two washes in it yeah it's one pound and i don't have a preference over washing machine cleaners you know i just pick whatever's on offer good just to use to give you a machine a clean through every so often so you just put this in and run it on like a hot cycle and yeah it freshens it all up so we'll give that one a go oh here's the other pack of the sparkle and shine scrub gloves in the pink like i mentioned so this year at christmas me and lee are hosting our family christmas party so i picked up a couple of bits for that so in my come shop with me recently i showed these little star balls which are super cute and these little ones are £2.50 and I actually picked up a couple of these so these are going to be really good to hold little nibbles in we're actually doing something kind of different and exciting which you'll see in a vlog obviously but these are going to house loads of different like toppings and bits for that like I say I got two of the smaller ones at £2.50 and then I also got one of the medium sized and this was £4 I think this is actually the largest size they do as well but they're just super cute like a white ceramic with this silver detail around the top just really simple really nice obviously stars are festive and then also for that party i love balloons so i got this merry christmas metallic foil balloon set and this is in silver they did have it in silver gold and red and i was really tempted to get red but obviously silver will go with my house so yeah picked that up and that was 199 i then picked up a new hand towel so i have a bathroom downstairs and I'm also upstairs and we have like towels that we use all the time but when people are coming around i like to put like a nicer one out so this is just a plain white one this is the super soft zero Zero twist and this was 3.99 and if you can see it has a lot of like rib detail in it there can you see that so it just looks nice and plush and luxurious but again it was a B&M bargain at 3.99 so my Christmas one that is white and will go downstairs with some little snowflakes on it and then this one will probably go upstairs or vice versa now in here is a Christmas present that you can't see next up I got myself a wax melt holder now I actually did get two and one is downstairs currently being burned and that one was 2.99 but then I saw this set as well now this is a wax melt 
warmer set by Chupa Chups. I'm not really one for like the gimmicky style things like this. What I really got this for was the wax melt burner because it's just a plain burner and it was $5.99 and then in the set you got the strawberry wax melts and a couple of tea lights as well so I thought that was really good value and we have been looking all over for a wax melt burner and you would not believe how hard it is to find a nice yet affordable one so that's why I picked up two. I was like do you know what they're here they're affordable we can interchange them so that's why I picked up this set this would also be a really great gift for someone as well when i put it in my trolley at first i was like is it for me or is it for someone else but it's for me and that is the first bag completed i'm going to keep everything out so that i can put it back in like my christmas present pile or my self pile does anyone else do that when they're going christmas shopping they're like i know who would really like this me i would like this i have been searching for christmas presents for the last few nights for people and i've been like online shopping and i'm like oh me oh me oh me it's just so much easier to shop for yourself so moving on now to oh, the second bag which is heavy so on the top of here i got lee a little present and it's not a christmas present it's just a present for now so when we were shopping the other day he said have you ever heard of those i don't know how you pronounce this gillian yeah chocolates and i was like oh yeah they're delicious and he was like there's such a hype around them and he's never tried them so i picked him some up and these are the belgian chocolates these are milk truffle ones so yeah i don't know how to pronounce that but these were only a pound which is why i picked them up for him and you know it's nice i really like to enjoy like nice chocolates like this too and then also right next to those was another treat for us and it is these peppero white cookie sticks so these are like the mercado sticks like i said this is white cookie so it's like cookies and cream and these were only 69p they did have the regular mercado which were a pound but i thought for 69p we'll try these ones another thing now for my christmas party and i got these fizz flavor candy canes so these are candy canes but they're actually filled with sherbet so again these will probably go in and around my little display that i'm having with those bowls and people can be eating these and i think you get like 12 candy canes is it you get 10 candy canes and it was a pound and i did also have some gin and tonic ones but i don't know i just thought these would be better they're non-alcoholic because there is going to be some children there so yeah got these and these would also be a really nice gift for someone like the gin and tonic ones would be really nice as a gift and for a pound what a bargain next up i got some bits for the dogs so at christmas time we usually put them in a little outfit whether that's a christmas jumper or one year they had like little bow ties so this year i picked them up some bandanas for all the parties and these are just so our dogs so we picked up this one which says canine security on for loki because he's our little guard dog he's always looking out on guard barking at things passing by so that one was for loki and these were all a pound each by the way as well then we've got this pink one which says princess on it if you know bella you know we call the princess sometimes so that was very fitting for her and then when i saw the last one i could not believe they are so fit for our dogs all three of them this one is a batman one and we call ozzy bat dog because he's got the little brown patches over his eyes so yeah all three of those for the dogs at different parties this christmas i thought it was meant to be because they, that is literally our three dogs and i probably will be the crazy dog mum and wrap those up for christmas for them too next up is something for myself and it is a pack of thermal insulated socks lee put some on the other night after we got back from iceland of his own ones that i've got like christmas themes on so i think the gingerbread men and i was like oh all my socks have got a hole in because they've all been eaten so i went and purchased myself some and these are just a gray and pink pattern wasn't too fussed about the pattern to be honest i just wanted something nice and that was like thermal and they are super snuggly and they're all furry on the inside and these were 3.99 each so they were a little bit pricier you could have got two for seven pounds but i didn't need two packs or like the other designs i know i said i wasn't massively fan on the designs but this was the best of the bunch so was a little bit pricier but i'm thinking these are going to be a little bit more heavy duty and last me for a bit longer then i've got a little christmas present for my niece evie she's very very girly i'm sure you have seen her on this channel a few times as well and this is a unicorn hair wrap she's obsessed with anything pink sparkly unicorns mermaid she's a typical little girly girl and i just thought this was a cute little extra thing to put in a stocking so it's one of those like turby towel hair wraps that you can use after you get out of the bath but it does have some little ears and a unicorn horn on it as well in sparkly silver and this was 1.99 so i thought this was just a really nice extra gift next up another cleaning product and this is just a repurchase this is the Dettol laundry cleanser my mum first got me onto this and they do do it in supermarkets but it's like three or four pounds whereas in b&m it's like two pounds something so it's a lot more affordable to get it from there and this is just really good to keep your 
washing on a cool wash but still killing bacteria so it's really good on your towels dog bedding yeah basically anything like that if something needs like an extra freshen up i'll do an extra shot of this in place of like a fabric softener so yeah that's just a really good handy thing to have then we have another dog toy and this is for lee's mum and dad's dog ben who is actually one of bella's puppies and this is a chew and clean bounce and bite durable chew toy with edible center so this is the bacon flavor one so we have to get our dogs quite heavy duty ones that go through toys really quickly so this one was 3 dollars and I just thought it was funky, cool, and a little bit different. And obviously, you know, it's a dog toy. What more can you say about that other than he will really like that? Then I got this. So B&M had a few different flavoured gins that I really wanted to pick them all up, but I restrained myself to just this one. This is Lemon Drizzle Cake Gin Liqueur. This is a Christmas present for someone who I know will really love it, and I'm hoping will share it with me at Christmas time. So this is for someone in my life who loves gin. I mean, who doesn't these days? But I thought Lemon Drizzle Cake was a kind of universal one that everyone would really like, but they also had a couple of flavours that I was interested in, such as the Cherry Bakewell. I want to try that one and they also had a candy cane one which I thought me and Lee would probably really like since we like peppermint flavoured things but yeah I just picked this one up and it was 9 dollars and then last things are some smelly things so I got some of these Jo Malone copy candles I got two of the same ones this is scent one pomegranate and it was 3 dollars it just smells like Jo Malone pomegranate noir. It's delightful. So I got one for myself and then one for a gift for somebody too. And then finally from that same Jo Malone copy kind of collection, I got a reed diffuser. This is in scent to blackberry and beer. And this one was 3 dollars so it's obviously a lot more affordable than the Jo Malone ones. And we just need one for the downstairs toilet. The one I got from Primark has actually run out quite quickly. So we just needed a top up, so I got this one. It's just a nice, fruity yet fresh smelling one but it's quite a grown-up like fruity smell so yeah just got that for there and that is everything that i picked up from bnm again today i do have to say i probably am going to be going again once again before christmas because i was speaking to my mum yesterday and there is something that she does want from there so i'm probably going to be heading back and you know i probably will pick something else up we just can't contain ourselves we go in bnm for one thing and we come out 20 things later it's just what seems to happen and that is the end of today's video i hope you have enjoyed watching don't forget to subscribe if you're not already i do have a lot more exciting videos coming such as some last minute christmas present ideas and shopping we are going to green and bear it me and lee are going to head out a few days before christmas and do some last minute shopping so that i can share that with you and help you out a little bit so thanks again so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one bye